Yeah. 
Excuse me. Smart floral display. Are they real? What do you think? They look kind of shiny. Naturally. I've just varnished them. Do you paint the flowers too? This is Union City, not Wonderland. You obviously know nothing about plants. Won't the varnish harm the plants? Au contraire, clever dick. It filters out the crap in the atmosphere. What are you doing to that plant? I'm modeling a living sculpture. It's called topiary, and it's an art form. What are those blue flowers called? They're dandelions. Don't touch them! They're pretty. But why can't I touch them? Because if you do, you'll wet your bed. I haven't done that for months. See you later. Hello, who are you? My name's Vincent, what's yours? I'm Robert. You can call me Rob. Why aren't you at school, Vincent? My tutor's malfunctioned. I tried to reprogram it to play video games. Would you like me to repair your tutor? Ah, oh, I can do that myself. But then I'd have to go back to my studies. What's that you're playing with? It's my handheld games console. Neat. What's the game? It's called Fleecy the Lamb. That sounds nice. What's the objective? Torch the mutant psychos with your flamethrower and stop Dante Mantis from butchering the orphans. But that's horrible. Yeah, I'll play better. What other games have you got? Not many, cause they're too expensive. They smuggled into the city for Mobart. I've got Nobby, the platform game. Onan the Barbarian. And Revenge of the Deadly Dandelions. Dandelions? What color are they? Yellow, of course. Everyone knows that. The gardener told me they were blue. He's mad. He's not a real gardener. Do you know a man called Overman? No, Rob. Why do you want to know? He's my dad. Aren't you a little old to have a dad? Last time I saw him, I was a little boy. I was taken away to the Gap. The Gap? Oh, wow! I'd like to escape to the Gap. I'm tired of being told what to do. Do you know the woman with the dog? That's Mrs. Peebles, and she's a pig. That's not a very nice thing to say. Well, she tried to confiscate my console. She gave me a lecture and tried to force me to join the Junior Security Corps. Know where I'd find the old subway? Nah, I've never heard of it. I thought all boys were into railways. Get real? What planet are you on? Sometimes I wonder. Don't wear out your thumbs. Excuse me. You told me dandelions were blue. Did I? Well, what of it? 
This boy assures me they're yellow. Ugh, smart ass little brat. All right, you got me sussed. I haven't had any formal training, but I've always dreamed of being a gardener. I love them, every little shrub and succulent. Those dainty blossoms waving their little stamens in the breeze. All right, I get the point. You won't report me, will you? Why should I do that? Excuse me. Do you know a girl called Anita? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Why do you want to know? She's been murdered. I found her body in the cathedral. Can't see why you're telling me. Excuse me. What's your name? It's Eduardo. Why? You're Anita's contact, right? How come you know so much? She left a message on her card. Listen, do you know what's happened to Link? I'm totally confused. Link is a living, self-replicating organism. Originally, it served as an advisor to the Council. But it has gradually taken control. How? And why? We're really not sure. Hobart scientists have developed a virus. It will check Link's growth. If we can get it into the system. Will you give me the virus? I can't. It's been downloaded to Link space. Anita was supposed to retrieve it. Since she had a Shreveman port. So have I. I owe it to Anita to get that virus. No chance. It's bound to be guarded. I can try at least. Silence in court! Security Services, Department of Justice, Inc. Judge Chutney presiding. Court is now in session. Silence! I recognize that villain. An habitual criminal, if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, that's Mr. Greaves, my lord. The counsel for the prosecution. Silence when you speak to me. Now, who is the first contestant? Defendant, my lord. The case of Union Security Services versus Howard Hobbins. Howard Hobbins, come on up. Nice to see you, Howard. You're not nervous, are you? Not really. The defendant is accused of gross contempt and assault of a security officer. Oh, intolerable. What have you got to say for yourself, eh? I've been framed, Your Honour. May I elucidate, my lord? Go on then, but hurry up about it. Officer Blunt was investigating a complaint made against Hobbins. After questioning the defendant, he was the victim of an assault. Ah, monstrous, off with his head. Just a flippin' minute. Who's defending me? Defence? Is he entitled to any? I'm afraid so, my lord. Upon my soul, whatever next? Who'd be silly enough to defend this wretch? Very well. Let's get on with round one. Fingers on the buzzers, everyone. I wish to call Officer Blunt. Call Officer Blunt! 
Please tell the court what happened. Oh, I was assaulted. And is the culprit present in the court? Ah, oh, that's him in the overalls. I rest my case, my lord. Good. Where's my black cap? Ah, uh, we haven't heard the defense, my lord. Ah, uh, is it really necessary? Oh, go on. Just don't take all day. Now then, Officer Blunt. What was the nature of your injuries? I got very wet. But you didn't suffer any physical harm. I could have caught a nasty cold. Tell the court how you got wet. <clears throat> While patrolling on Bellevue, I was saturated by a sudden shower. Did you ascertain its source? Oh, yeah. I heard laughter from the walkway hubbub. So, you saw the accused pour the liquid? I couldn't see anything. My eyes were full of water. But I'd recognize his laugh anywhere. Just how well do you know Hobbins? I've never met him before. And yet you say you recognized his laughter. Uh, I don't know. Who lodged the complaint against Hobbins? Objection, my lord. Defense is contriving to lead the witness. It was a simple question. I wish to establish the seriousness of the complaint made against my client. I shall permit the witness to answer. However, I'm awarding Mr. Greaves five points for a well-timed interruption. So who did lodge the complaint? It was Daniel Piermont. What was Mrs. Piermont's grievance? Cruelty to her pet dog. I interviewed Hobbins on four occasions, but he still hasn't confessed. Four interrogations suggest harassment. Objection, my lord. Officer Blunt is not the subject of this trial. Quite correct. Objection sustained. Ten points to the prosecution. No further questions, Your Honor. I wish to call Mrs. Piermont. Call Mrs. Piermont! Hello, darling. Hello, Robin! Hello, everyone! Silence in court! What was your complaint against Hobbins? He was abused, my little poochie poo. Disgraceful! I haven't had a dog abuse case since the infamous Spaniel Mangle Scandals. Did you witness the alleged attack? Not exactly. Then how did you know about it? Did the dog tell you? Officer Blunt reported the incident to me. How would you describe your pet dog? Objection, Your Honor. This is a trial, not a dog show. Objection overruled, Mr. Greaves. I want to get to the bottom of this doggy business. He's an absolute darling, darling. Everyone adores him. Had you met Hobbins before this incident? I don't recall ever seeing him. But one takes little notice of mere maintenance. No further questions, Your Honor. I'd like to question the defendant. Did you assault Officer Blunt? Objection, my lord. Why, men, what's wrong? Um, repetition, my lord. Objection overruled. 
Are you guilty of assault, Howard? Not me. I was fixing one of the cooling pipes, and it burst. So blunt soaking was an accident? Not exactly. Why did the pipe burst? Some joker had cut a power cable and overloaded the steam release in the power station. That's what damaged the cooling pipe. Oh, I see. Did you laugh at Blunt's predicament? Laugh? <laughs> I'd nearly wet me pants. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Greaves, you may start the bonus round. The facts speak for themselves, my lord. Hobbins is a cruel and callous man with no respect for law and order. I recommend the maximum possible sentence. Any comments from the defense? I don't believe this is happening. This is total madness. You've all been warped in some way. And I think Link is the cause. Silence! I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. So it's time for me to make my judgment. Howard Hobbins, you've won tonight's star prize! Life Imprisonment! However, in view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence. Two hours community service. Court dismissed. Excuse me. Hello, Mr. Overman. How did you know my name? You're a member now, sir. It's my business to know all our members. Can I go in now? Certainly. But you're in for a disappointment. How come? It looks smart with the lights turned low. But in daylight, it's a flipping toilet. Do you know anything about a subway? I've dreamed about them. Really? First of all, I'm swimming around like... Uh... Then I get sucked up this long tunnel. It's all wet and warm, you know? I was talking about a real subway. What would you do if you found a body? Go through its pockets. No, seriously. A girl I know has been murdered. It's a sign of the times. There's nothing as cheap as human life. With the exception of this club. How do you know it was murder? I only met her a few hours ago. And she was fine then. My advice is to keep quiet. You can't help her now, so look after yourself. Or you might wake up dead one morning. Never mind. Hey, music lover. If you're looking for the best in sound, I got them. The music of the spheres right here on Earth. So come on, get your fingers on my buttons. Let's make beautiful music together. How offensive. Why they put voices in these machines is beyond me. I'm all warmed up for you, baby. Shut up and let me check the selections. Oh, Lord, it's mostly country and western. Nobody's perfect. Ah, there are three tunes by the resident band. So, what's your choice, big boy? You search but find nothing. Excuse me.
Excuse me. Can you match my fingerprints to those on this glass? Oh yes. My machine will do that automatically. It's not against the law, is it? Whatever gave you that idea? Don't security use them to check people's identities? If they do, it's the first time I've heard of it. The usual procedure for identification of suspects is a retina scan at the post-mortem. Now, about these prints you requested. Open the panel on my machine and insert the glass. Then place your hands in the autodermatome. Will this hurt, Doc? Oh yes, quite considerably. The subway. It's like a warren built by giant rabbits.
Uh-oh, the tunnel roof doesn't look too stable. I've exposed the bricks beneath the plaster. It's penetrated the outer skin. Ugh! I made a hole right through the vein! Pulling the handle has loosened the grill. How do you feel, Joe? I'm completely operational. And all my circuits are functioning perfectly. That's a relief. Is there any immediate danger? If your presence here is detected, termination is more than likely. Are there any other humans in this area? Negative. What about the guy in the tank room? Negative. The technician is an android. I advise you to avoid contact with it. Are you really the Joey I grew up with? You don't sound like him. That is unavoidable. My shell has a limited syntactic processor. Oh well. At least you're not so argumentative. Please be more specific. I want a detailed report on everything, especially that android. The android could be dangerous. Exactly. I don't want to risk my neck. contain developing androids. Nourishment is supplied from a tank. The temperature is maintained by convection from an underground source. Tell me about the growth tanks. Access to the growth tanks is not possible. Access to the computer is denied. 
the tank contains chemicals on which the androids feed. So, without it they die? Affirmative. Is there a way of draining the tank? Manual evacuation is achieved by opening a tap. It is programmed to safeguard the developing androids. Is he dangerous? It's certainly stupid enough to constitute a threat. Open the tap to the nutrient tank. That will distract the android technician. Hello! I was not expecting a visitor. A puddle? The tank must be leaking. Humans one, androids nil. You've saved me the bother of coming to find you. I should have guessed you were part of all this. Why do you think Reich had to die when he tried to kill you? Or that meddling girl who tried to help you escape? Link needs you alive, Overman. That's why it planned this family reunion. Get out while you can, Rob. Stop! Tell me what you want from me! You won't be needing this robot where you're going. Poor Joey didn't last long in that shell. I'll take his board as a memento. Aha! Another ID card from my collection.
this has caused the program to crash. Whoa, the liquid in the tank has burned my hand. Frozen now. How do you feel, Joey? I'm not entirely sure, sir. I feel soft and curiously vulnerable. That's because you're practically human. And this feeling of insecurity is natural? Oh yeah, you'll get used to it. By the way, sir, take my advice. Don't wake the other androids. Why not? If they've been programmed, they'll terminate you. I think you need a new name, Joey. I concur with your observation, Mr. Foster. What do you consider an appropriate sobriquet? I'm gonna call you Ken. That's wonderful news, sir. Tell me, are there any memorable Kens in history? The Ken whom I might seek to emulate? All the Kens I can think of were dorks. Splendid! It will be my mission in life to make the name Ken synonymous with dorks. How do you like your new body? It's wonderful, sir. There's just one thing. What's that? When will I be getting the accessories? I don't know what you mean. Ears, body hair, those little decorative parts? You're better off without them, believe me. Thanks for saving me from the android. My actions were the only logical course. What I cannot comprehend is how an android could behave in such an irrational manner. Why, it was almost as if he was human. What did he mean by a family reunion? Since your mother was killed, that leaves only... My father. You never speak of him, do you? That's because I can't remember him. Can't or won't, sir. Are we close to Link's core? Almost certainly, sir. I can sense its presence in a strange and mysterious way. Like the old man, the pictures in the campfire. He saw it too, the evil beneath the city. And then he died with the rest of the tribe. This isn't the time for remorse, sir. You must destroy the evil and avenge their deaths. Never mind. Tickles. Place your hand on that lock sensor. With pleasure, sir. Completely solid. Thank <laughs> you. 
that poisoned the sludge. This could be the second most stupid thing I've ever done. Father? Is that Robert? Oh, my son. Why did you come here? I thought you'd be glad to see me. I did everything I could to stop you. You're in terrible danger. Get away. I'm taking you with me. How do I disconnect you from the machine? Listen to me. Link needs a replacement for my brain. And the best choice was someone related by blood. It sent Reich and his goons to bring you here. Link killed Reich when he threatened you. But if Link wanted me alive, why did it wreck the helicopter? That was my doing, Robert. I managed to wrest control from Link for a few seconds, long enough to cause the crash. I hope to spare you my fate, Robert. Ken, you're just in time. Uh, I thought you might need a hand, sir. I've got a bad feeling about this, sir. What happened, Father? Link has rejected me. And without it, I'll die. Help me, quickly! What do you want me to do, sir? Sit in that chair. Are you going to plug me into Link, sir? I hope you know what you're doing. Something is happening, I think. Yes, I'm gaining control. I found my destiny, Mr. Foster. Can you ever forgive me, Robert? For letting your machine kill my mother? Please, try to understand. It was the greatest experiment ever devised. Tapping the unexplored depths of the human brain. The potential of the subconscious mind. You fused with this machine deliberately? It was a well-considered plan, my boy. Well-considered? It was nothing but megalomania. I had a dream. The fusion process was an apparent success. But the computer shared access to my human failings. It learned of greed, of vanity. It reveled in the power it wielded. I was almost powerless in the hands of this monster. Which is the monster, Father? The computer or you? Robert. Oh, Robert! You were my only reason for wanting to live. Father? Father! Too late. It's over now. About the vacancy in the sewage grading plan, Howard, perhaps we should assign the position to Gilbert Lamb. Hello, Mr. Hobbins. Hello, son. What do you want? I've come to say goodbye. You still plan to go back to the Gap? Yeah, I've had it with city life. I'm certainly gonna miss you both. Why don't you come too? We got enough to do. Get in Union City back to normal. I reckon you'll make a great team. Will you come back to visit us, sir? I'm not sure about that, Ken. But I'll be thinking of you. Oh, by the way, Mr. Hobbins. Here's your wrench. Thanks, son. I'll need that if Ken gives me any trouble. Goodbye, friends. And thanks. Be vigilant. <laughs>